What is important about listening? In life, forget music. What is important about listening? What is the benefits of listening? And what, kind, what do you have if you don't listen? Let's think about listening to people. What happens if you don't listen? What happens? First of all, yeah. If you don't listen to me, you don't really hear anybody. You don't, you don't really hear what they're saying. You know, and, um, and I guess you don't really learn much, you know, if you're constantly talking and you're not listening. I guess not using your ears. Precisely, precisely. Anybody else on listening? Sometimes if you're not listening, you have a predetermined idea in your head. You know the people you talk to that don't, that you know they're not listening because when they respond, they're already on their own agenda. <laughs> and I think that's important um, for music in particular because you're going to build off of ideas if you were truly listening for what they said. And if you weren't listening, you didn't get the information you needed to respond <laughs> appropriately. Very good. Basically, uh, as far as I'm concerned, if you don't listen you are going to have an incredibly lonely, alienated life, period. Because the only way you can get next to somebody else is to listen to them. And I think the degree of intimacy that you're going to have with anybody is completely based on your ability to listen. Okay, and maybe not just listen to words, listen to other things, but listen. So listening, hopefully, is why everybody is here today. Who was the first person that you listened to? I think probably one of the musicians that I first really listened to would have been Michael Brecker, and that was probably came pretty late in terms of my uh, academic study of music. Um, you know, I, I would have easily been late high school, early college, before I really listened to other players because I was so focused on listening to myself and he hearing whether I'm hitting what I'm supposed to be hitting uh, you know, am I playing rhythms correctly, notes correctly, do I sound good? And so uh, I think probably one of the early Steps Ahead albums, uh, Michael Brecker really wowed me. And, you know, and I, I hadn't really heard of him. I'd heard of him, never really listened to him. Uh, and the first time I actually did hear him, I really started listening to what he was playing. Uh -huh. Great. How many of you, we won't go through every story now, but how many of you had one person that you heard that just knocked you out, just blew your mind, and you said, this stuff, this music stuff, I, gotta, I need some of this. Okay. I mean, that, that's, that's the natural way, rather than someone like just one day like standing in front of a mirror and saying, wow, I'm going to be a musician. <laughs> you know? I look good. I'm going to be up there with a, on the stage playing. Okay. We're going to do a couple things right now that we're going to go to the next step here that has to do with your ear. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clap some rhythms out, and I want you to you just imitate me, okay? One, two, three, four. Very good. All right. I want everybody closing their eyes right now. And what I'm going to do, uh, put your hands up about like this. Look at me. Okay. Just your finger like that. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to draw the shape of this melody. If it goes up, I'm going to do some real dramatic ones and you just do this. Here's the note. That's the first note. Here's the next note. What's your name? What's your name? Me? Yeah, no, right here. Yeah. Michael. Michael, okay. Let me do you for a sec.